Hi, welcome to Jags Tech World. Today I want to talk to you about the macro system in Synapse 3. I'm going to be using the WoW beta as an example since I'm uh, right now playing in that. I don't have a lot of spells and stuff to uh, reference, but I don't need many to do this. So when you open up some Synapse, you want to go over to macro. And there's two ways of doing this. You can do a recording or you can uh, do insert. But first, we want to make a new macro. And you can sit here and do a recording. You say you come down here and you do two for corruption one for your bowl and then you can click stop and you'll see that it puts a duration in it or a delay if you do it that way now if you want you can do insert and then we'll do keystroke since we're going to do two keystrokes i'm going to put two keystrokes in here you got but sometimes you'll notice that it'll do this it's got down, down, then up, up. So what we need to do is do a down, up, down, up. And since I like doing it this way better because like you have a two second cast time. So it works from the top down. So we're gonna do this as a number two. We need to delay this one for two seconds. So we want to delay this one from being cast right after that one. Two seconds. So our corruption is going to cast and then our uh, shadow bolt. And then what we want to do is uh, if you're going to put it on your gamepad, you come over here, go to macro, and put it in there macro one or macro two. But what I'm going to do, since I already have my uh, joystick already set up for WoW, I'm going to put it on my keyboard over here. And we're going to attempt to play each one and see what happens. So this is macro one, cast corruption, and then immediately it tried casting the bolt. Now let's do corruption on macro two. And as you see, corruption goes two seconds, and it actually cast a shadow bolt. The one with the delay cast. Well, we got RAM there. Should give us more time. It's out there a little bit. And then Shadow Bolt. Boom. Working just fine. Alright, so. So, if you're going to do the recording... What I would do is look at your game, see what the cast times are, and then once you do your uh, recording, come in here. First one, you don't need a delay because it's just going to start once you press the button. But you want each of these next ones, you want to go in there and you want to set your times. Delay the press, let it release the press, which you want it to release immediately. So, unless you're doing some type of game where you have to hold a button down, um, 
like I don't know some fighting games I've played in the past uh, you gotta hold a button down for two seconds or whatever to charge something up then you'll put a delay for the release but for stuff like World of Warcraft uh, I don't think you really need a, a delay on the release so make your recording make sure that delay is in there and one thing to note too is like this what I'm doing right now it's plopping these in the middle if you want to really insert another keystroke come and drag your mouse right on the bottom in the line here and say insert and it'll throw it on the bottom if you just come up here it gets a little annoying so, say, drag here, insert, boom, goes right up to the bottom. So remember, it works from the top to the bottom. And that's macros in a nutshell.